this thing working? Oh yeah, it's working. How are you? We're back at it with uh, Dark Souls Remastered on walkthrough. I believe this is part 10 and we're running through the Dark Root Garden. After a, a few items in particular. Uh, for one thing, I want to I get rid of the boss in the area just because I want the extra souls. Get rid of these tree guys, one for the stun, one for the kill. And I'm picking up a few moss clumps as I go. But yeah, getting rid of the boss, grabbing that Elite Knight set, the, a new set of armor, something with poise, just so I can quit complaining about it hearing my voiceovers. And I also have one one other one other boss, uh, which will be in this video. Very boss heavy video. Next one will be the uh, Stray Demon, back at the Undead Asylum. So there's lots of, lots of plans for this one. This video is a bit longer than usual because I had, I had two fairly short clips that I thought were a bit too short for one video. So I thought oh, I'd, I'd bite the bullet and, and make another longer video. Just means more time I had to sit around and wait for um, up Upload Studio to upload it for me, but eh, nah, I, I can deal with it, I suppose. Excuse me. When I was recording this, while I was playing the game, I was standing there talking about my plans, just grabbing that, that soul item, running through here, grabbing the, the Elite Knight set, then running towards the boss arena, but since Upload Studio doesn't know, well since uh, the recording on, on Xbox One doesn't allow me to do voiceovers while I'm playing the game, uh, it didn't work that way. So, that's a, so that's that. That was why I was just standing on that soul item for so long. And here we go for the, for the boss. Having some trouble doing melee. Oh well. Yeah, to give you an idea of how effective that power mancy is. That is totally unupgraded, and one of the weaker power mancies in, in the game. Imagine if I had that at plus 15, or even ascended at plus 5. For the power mentee, it's a little more substantial. Maybe add a Bellowing Dragon Crest ring, or the Dust Crown ring, or Dust Crown... What is it called? Dust Crown helmet, maybe? I don't need to remember. Of items that boost your pyromancy's effectiveness. So, up here, there's a few items to grab. Uh, Divine Ember, and there you go, Homeward Bone, etc. A key that I don't need because I picked the remaster key to, to start things off with this playthrough. And I'm gonna hang around here at uh, Firelink Shrine for a bit to cash in on, on some of the items that I have. And Framped here is gonna help me. Ah, hello. Was 
seek our wrath. Close friend of the great Lord Wind, chosen our dead, first from the bell of awakening, I wish to elucidate your fate. Do you seek such enlightenment? Very well. Then I am pleased to share, chosen our dead, your fate is to succeed the great Lord Wind, so that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. To this end, you must visit Anno Ondo and acquire the Lord Vessel. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something early? So as far as getting souls off him, you can feed him items you pick up and he'll give you souls for it. One thing I want to do in particular is give him these souls all lost and dead and these other ones here because feeding into him they're worth more than they are if I just popped them myself. Same, game, uh, same thing goes with those two boss souls that I just gave to him. Other than that I'm mostly just giving him weapons and armor that I don't want. But I'm not gonna make you sit through all of that. I'm gonna go uh, make use of that armor that I picked up at the Dark Room Garden. And I'll see you at the next boss. So now I've got my a few bits of the, of the Elite Knight set, the helmet, gauntlets, and, and boots, all at plus three. That'll give me a, a fair amount of poise and physical physical defense. Now I'm heading off to the Undead Asylum to get rid of the Stray Demon. I'll also pick up a few, a few items that I want on the way there, while I'm there anyway. Once you make it all the way up here, you just sit in this nest and act like an egg for about 20 seconds. Once I get there, there's going to be a few of those torch hollows to deal with. And they're a lot worse than, than they sound. Oh, I'm fighting these guys. I'll, I'll give you an idea of what I'm all I'm after. Um, first thing is to get rid of the stray demon, and he'll drop. Let's call it a Titanite slab that will allow me to take this claymore I'm using to uh, lightning plus five. Once I gather all the Titanite chunks beforehand. Next, I want to grab the uh, peculiar doll. And that will allow me to visit another world in the game that I wouldn't be able to get to otherwise once I reach Anorlando. Plus the crest shield off Oscar, the guy that broke me out of the cell in the beginning of the game. And I rest that iron ring to like so I can run through water at a decent pace. I'm gonna shut up now for the boss fight.
and that'll do it for him. One tight night slide for me. Now I can climb up the ladder over here and get to all the items I want. At this point, it's basically business as usual in the Undead Asylum. Other than grabbing all the items, I run through it basically as normal. Other than the one shortcut that I opened up at the beginning of the game. The shield that he just dropped, it has uh, like a 80% uh, reduction to magic damage. That'll do a, a lot, that'll do me a lot of good once I get to the Four Kings boss fight later on in the game. Other than that, I'm only grabbing the rusted iron ring, and that's pretty much it for this area. And the rusted iron ring, and that's it for this area. I'm out. Basically, the only thing I'm going to be doing in the, re in the rest of the video here is popping soul items so I can level up as much as I can. Other than that, the next video uh, I'll be running through Sen's Fortress. And it's one of my favorite areas in the game actually, so I'm looking forward to it. And hope you are too, so I'll, I'll see you for that one. Alright, uh, take care and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I don't know why I said that. Have fun. <laughs>